What's up YouTube, it's Yusen Low bringing you another tutorial. This time it's Adobe After Effects um, and I'm going to be showing you how to export your video file to an image sequence. Um, the first step you want to do is uh, import your video file into so, uh, Adobe After Effects. You can do this by clicking File then Import and again File and just uh, select the clip you want to import. I already imported my clip, so um, let's go ahead and drag this video clip onto this symbol and you open a new composition. Um, as you can see, this is uh, Cinematics on RAID Black Ops 2, um, and this is the actual file I use for the montage Renaissance. Uh, that's uh, the montage I made. Um, this is the part I was looking for the part with the tree where it said you said low presence um, I'm gonna adjust the work area where it starts and where it ends this is the part where I want it to end then I'm gonna adjust the work area to zoom it in a little bit um, that, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to file export add to render queue um, it, this track then gets added to the render queue um, and in these settings you are gonna select output module and this says lossless uh, most of the times you're gonna click this and this opens the output module settings um, and here on top you have the format which you are rendering to and the standard format is RV or MP4 depends when you use uh, MacBook or Windows and whether you have QuickTime installed or not um, for me I don't have QuickTime um, and it renders to RV. Uh, we're gonna click here and then you get all the codecs you can record to. Um, as you can see there's a lot of sequences you can use. Uh, the sequence I use which is has the best quality and the biggest file size, file size but it's also really quick. It's, it's TIFF and select TIFF sequence. Um, that's all for this view, okay. Um, and then the next step you are going to do is select output two. You're gonna click this. Um, as you can see, I already exported this. So this uh, already has like uh, 146 pictures. But what you are going to do is you're gonna create a new folder, um, export other tutorial. Let me just uh, make a example map folder open this and make sure you export these sequences to a separate folder then don't just throw them on your desktop because what will happen is you get depending on how big your clip is you're gonna get like more than a hundred pictures individual pictures and those are all the frames that are in the video um, so you should really just use a separate folder just for this sequence because it's gonna get really messy if you don't um, then make give it a name only adjust this part of the name uh, tutorial um, and do nothing with the with the rest of the name because uh, where, where it says the hashtags it actually gets numbers for the photos for the pictures and then click save um, and then you're ready to render um, when I click render it's going to render as you can see it's really quick um, I'm gonna wait for a little bit to finish for it to finish um, meanwhile I'm going to open my folder alright that's that it's done um, now when you open the folder you can see the amount of pictures you actually have and depending on what your frame setting is set to minus 30 frames per second you get really a ton of pictures and these are actually 415 pictures um, and the size of these pictures are 1.06 gigabytes so um, be careful you don't export too many photos because it can really jam up your HD, HDD um, so take that into account and that's how you export a video clip into a TIFF sequence in Adobe After Effects alright bye bye